If you're about to launch your first product on Amazon, it can be overwhelming not knowing if you have all your ducks in a row. And this is where beginners often make some common mistakes that can affect the success of your product. So in this video, I'll show you how you can prepare yourself for your first product launch and avoid making these mistakes. But first, my name is Crescent, and on my channel I share tips and strategy videos, just like this one, on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So there's four main areas where mistakes most frequently occur. Let's start with shipping. First and foremost, in order to ensure that you have a trouble-free product, I suggest always getting an inspection done as soon as your supplier has finished manufacturing your product. This way, you can make sure your product meets your requirements and level of quality. I don't suggest shipping the product to yourself to inspect. Once it leaves your supplier's warehouse, it becomes infinitely more difficult and expensive to have any problems resolved, especially if you need to ship the products back overseas. If you'd like to find out more on how to do inspections, I'll leave a link to a video in the video description below. Now, as far as shipping itself is concerned, you need to be aware that there's almost always going to be delays. Shipping by air typically takes seven to 10 days from China, but you need to factor in any delays at customs as well as once Amazon receives your shipment. When your shipment arrives at Amazon, you'll get an email notification letting you know that it's been received. However, Amazon needs to inspect and inventory your shipment. They'll also distribute your units across the country to other fulfillment centers in order to provide efficient prime shipping. This process can take a few days or even weeks to complete. As Amazon adds inventory to your stock, you'll start to see active units available in Seller Central. Once you have active units, your listing will go live and you can then start selling. Until then, you just have to wait. There can also be delays if you didn't prepare your shipment correctly. For example, if it's oversized, or overweight or improperly packaged. Amazon has a shipment guideline that you need to follow that you can see here. If your shipment fails to meet these requirements, your shipment will get delayed. And if you continue to ship product in improperly, you'll start to incur penalties and fees which will affect your account health. These penalties are high and will escalate as you can see here. For example, for overweight and oversized shipments, there's a $25 per unit penalty. The second area where mistakes often occur is with the product listing. Before you commit to a product, you should have created a listing first to make sure there isn't any potential problems with selling that product, such as any restrictions or a hazmat review. This way, you'll know ahead of time whether or not you can even sell the product, or if there are any issues, you can take care of them right away, instead of when your inventory is on its way to Amazon. Also, while your product is being manufactured, you can use that downtime to create an optimized listing so you're ready to sell as soon as your inventory is ready at Amazon. This includes making sure that you've done keyword research to create an optimized title, bullet points, description, and backend keywords list. It's very important that you do this properly so that your listing gets indexed properly for all the relevant keywords for your product. You can also use the downtime to find a product photographer to take professional photos. You can find good product photographers on Fiverr.com. Keep in mind though that most talented photographers will have a waiting list, so don't wait until the last minute. Either have your supplier send your photographer a sample unit, or if your product is too different from the samples, as soon as your manufacturing is complete, have them send a production unit to your photographer. If the timing doesn't happen to work out for you, then it's okay to temporarily use stock photos in your listing. Ask your supplier if they have any photos that you can use. Don't steal your competitor's photos or Google photos to use though. You can get your listing shut down or even sued for using someone else's copyrighted material. Make sure the photos your supplier gives you is also their own and they didn't find it themselves on Google either. Do your due diligence here so you don't get in trouble. Also, have a plan for how you're gonna price your product during the product launch. A price of around 20% higher than the low end of the price range is a good place to start. Once your listing reaches the first page, you can raise the price to your target sale price and split test to find the optimal price point. Also have a plan on how you're gonna get reviews. I'm not gonna suggest using black or gray hat methods, but if you have a lower risk tolerance, you can certainly use those methods at your own risk. 
definitely sign up for the early reviewer program. It costs $60 and Amazon will help you get your first five reviews by offering incentives to your buyers. You can also use an email follow-up sequence to ask for reviews, but beware, most buyers have opted out from receiving follow-up emails, so most of them won't go through. And lastly, make sure that you have a minimum order quantity set in your product listing. I can't stress this enough, I've seen too many beginners get their entire inventory wiped out because they ran a deep discount or promotion and one unscrupulous buyer purchased their entire inventory at 80 or 90% off. You can set this option in your product listing here. Set it to something other than blank, like two or five, or however many you feel is reasonable. All right, moving on. The third area has to do with cash flow, and this is a topic I don't ever see anyone else talking about. The content that I see only ever deals with your starting capital, like how much you need to get started on Amazon. Of course, this figure fluctuates dramatically depending on who you talk to, but beyond just your starting capital, you also need to be aware that there's gonna be expenses after you've launched. This is why if you've only budgeted enough capital to purchase your inventory, then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Every business has operating expenses, and for launching new private label products on Amazon, you need a budget for marketing and advertising costs like your PPC and giveaways. It's pretty much certain that your new PPC campaigns will not be profitable, and any promotions or giveaways that you do, you still have to pay the Amazon fulfillment fees. These expenses are normally deducted from the revenue generated from your sales, but if your revenue can't cover these expenses, you have to pay for them out of pocket. And speaking of payments or disbursements from Amazon, you can't rely on using any payments that you get from your disbursements. First, Amazon only pays you every two weeks. Amazon also puts a seven day hold on all purchases before paying them out. So if you need to pay for any expenses or if you need to reorder inventory, you need to know where you're gonna get the cash to pay for them. Because even if you've sold out of your inventory, you may not get access to your profits for a couple of weeks. And number four, and in my opinion, the most important product launch mistake beginners make is not being prepared to handle unforeseen problems. Here's where you need to be resourceful if a problem comes up. Once your product is available for sale, it isn't smooth sailing. Listings can get shut down after you've already been selling for a number of reasons, such as for a hazmat review or a violation of some kind. You can also get hijackers on your listing or your listing may be invisible and it can't be found in the search results for your keywords. The list goes on and on. You should have the most common issues and what actions to take to resolve them in the back of your mind already. And for those problems that you haven't prepared for, be resourceful in how and where to find a solution for them. Each day that your listing is down is a day that you're not making any sales. I actually have a video on this topic here that I got a lot of great feedback from beginners that found it extremely helpful. All right, we all make mistakes, it's only human. Let me know in the comments what mistakes you've made and what you've learned from them. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. There's also a link in the description below to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.